Hey everybody and welcome back to more Kickstarter crap. Today the piece of crap I want to look at is a shape. It's a cube. How can I shit on a cube? Pretty easily. As technology increases, the amount of skill it takes to use them are greatly increased. I see people struggle nearly every day trying to send a quick text and overwhelmed by the new features included. Okay, so I know what their problem is. They're, they're trying to send a text message like this and, and like this. This isn't how you send a text message. I mean, maybe that's how you sell eyeglasses, because with the camera out of focus like it is, and with you struggling with your depth perception, I'm pretty sure the next shot coming up is going to be the shot where the eyeglasses come in and all of a sudden, oh, everything's clear again. So I decided to make technology simple again. I would create a product that anyone can use. If this guy's goal is to sell scrap electronics that no one has seen before, I think he's well on his way because he pulled out some piece of shit square and now he's got some weird ass touchscreen graphing calculator that I've never seen in my life. Yeah. I spent months of research and development to come up with a product without wires, chargers, or even a screen. Maybe I was wrong. He came up with a product that doesn't use wires, charges, or a screen? How? How can you make a smartphone that doesn't have a screen? How is that possible? I set out to make something revolutionary. REVOLUTION! But ready to use out of the box. A product that the old and new generation can enjoy. Finally! Finally there's a product out there that both my grandparents' generation and my generation can use. What is it? Introducing Cube. Cube is made from high-grade aluminum and manufactured with precision in the U.S. Okay, uh, it's made of aluminium. I like that. That's pretty cool. But uh, what, so something's on the inside, right? Like, like you got some photons, maybe some electrons bounce around up in there. So what exactly does Cube do? Well, in concept, it's limitless. A product with no software updates and hardware that will always be current. I'm not gonna let this charade go on for any longer, guys. It's a fucking aluminum cube. That's all it is. There's nothing inside it. There's nothing outside of it. He says that it's fully customizable, and what he means by that is you can drill fucking holes into it and use it as a pencil stand. So what exactly does Cube do? Well, in concept, it's limitless. Let's analyze how retarded it is to say, in concept, it's limitless. With everything in the world, you can say, in concept, it's limitless. Fucking... Making a base on the moon is, in concept, it's limitless. Making a fucking cheese sandwich in concept is limitless. Maybe I can put some goddamn ham on that cheese sandwich. Maybe I can use some Asiago fucking cheddar on that motherfucking ham sandwich. Everything is limitless in concept, you son of a bitch. The cube can be used as a paperweight, to a kickstand, or even just a nice accessory for your desk. Well, there he goes. At least he's now saying what the fuck it is. It's not a piece of technology. This isn't a piece of technology. This shit is the opposite of technology. It's like taking a stone and calling that a piece of technology. This stone that I have, it, it could be used as a paperweight. It could be used as a nice thing to put on my desk. It's, it's got the same functionality as this piece of shit. Hey, and you know what you can do with a stone? You can drill holes into it just like you can your piece of shit cube, and you can put pencils and pens and your tiny chode into. When I set out on making the cube, it was with a long-term goal. I wanted it to have a use and last a lifetime. The cube is portable. Only one square inch can withstand over a thousand pounds of force, so you know it's made to last more than a two-year contract. It's made to last more than a two-year contract. Surely this idiot doesn't think he's competing with a phone company. He's competing with Pebblestone and, and a piece of shit that's lying on the ground. That's all he's competing with. It's got the same amount of utility. I think Pebblestone is probably edging him out at this point. You know, because you can at least shake it and probably get a little bit of feedback out of it. The cube is fully customizable. If you want to add a hole to the bottom to fit your needs or passions, you can. The cube is open source so anyone can customize it or submit their designs online. He's literally just repeating all the fucking buzzwords that he's ever heard in his life. Open source. The cube is open source. Well, if he could say that, fuck it guys, I'm open source. My anus is open source. My open sore is an open source. Color will be decided on a vote on Kickstarter. 
Everyone who pledges will get at least two votes. But if you pledge $15 or more, we'll send you a brand new cube before it's even released to the market. We plan on selling the cube for $30 later on. If you've ever been overwhelmed by technology and sometimes you need something simple, then the cube is for you. If you don't care about that, then the cube is for you. See, the cube is made for everybody. We include bird edges to make sure kids wouldn't get hurt and a shiny design for people who think it's too mainstream. It's got a shiny design for people who think it's too mainstream. What the fuck does that one even mean? Clearly, it's it's got the same verbiage as you've heard on every other bullshit Kickstarter project and or infomercial. It's it's garbage. It doesn't even fucking mean anything. It doesn't... He just... He's just fucking... He's taking from every bullshit project he's ever seen in his life and he's just putting it together. It's... It's amazing. This guy is a next level panderer. He panders to every fucking crowd out there. Oh, you got a kid you, that you're extremely overprotective of? Well, don't worry. Our cube won't cut your kid. Oh, great. Fantastic. If, if your kid's gonna get cut by anything, it sure as fuck should be a cube, I think. I mean, out of all the things, a razor blade, a kitchen knife, get cut by a fucking cube. Who gives a shit? Not to mention, like, he, he panders to every crowd out there. The open source, fucking... You know, old people, hipsters, everyone. You know, the only crowd he doesn't pander to, which is unbelievable because I'm, I'm sure he probably could, is the uh, ecological crowd. You know, he, he could have said, oh, this is totally uh, environmentally friendly. It's environmentally friendly. It's made here in America, in my dad's workshop, some bullshit like that. Okay, guys, that's enough of that bullshit video. We're going to move on to the reward tiers. Now, you would think that uh, for something like the cube that's, you know, one inch cubed, uh, it would set you back maybe $5. I'd say $5 would be a fair price. It's a bargain. Maybe even 10 bucks for shipping and handling because we know that cube, that's a heavy-duty thing. It's going to take a lot to ship, right? No, it costs $15 for the cube. It costs $15 for the cube that does nothing. Uh, the nothing cube that's what they should call it the nothing cube it's gonna be really hard to top the language that was used in the video but i think we're gonna come close we got some language here that will certainly give it a run for its money the cube is a revolutionary device that brings simplicity to a device heavy world device 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 not a fucking device not a device not a device device heavy world don't worry i got a device to bring into the device heavy world you know, forget about all your devices. We got a new device that's called the fucking cube that isn't a device. I should just say device. I think people like that word. Device, 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 device. You want the device? I got the whole crate of device. I got device. I got uh, the wieners. I got uh, uh, device president. I got everything you could want over here. We've worked for the past eight months to make sure everything from glimmer to shape is right. You spent eight months making sure the shape is right? It's a cube. It's not a revolutionary shape, it's a fucking cube. I can make a cube out of a Play-Doh mold. I'm sure there are dozens of templates to make any variety of cube that you want from your 3D printer. The cube is the easiest thing to edit because it has the potential to be anything. After you get it, it can change shape or size or whatever you want it. Yep, more gibberish. More gibberish. He claims, he, he fucking claims that it could change shape and size. Are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah, if I take a fucking sawzall to it, maybe, maybe if I take a saw to it, it could change shape. Maybe if I take a saw to it, it could change size. You're not going to put that in the fine print? Oh yeah, maybe you might need some tools to change the shape. It's not fucking putty, you goddamn idiot. And to wrap it all up, we get to end it with a lovely Kickstarter backer t-shirt. Get cubed. Oh my gosh, if you walked around with this t-shirt, I mean, Kickstarter is known for the shittiest t-shirts, but if you wore this thing around me, I would have to mutilate you. I would have to brutally mutilate you. So to wrap this thing up, I'd like to say that the cube is really no better than a rock. No better than a stone, or even a pebble stone for that matter. It is a paperweight and really not a whole lot else. It isn't fully customizable, it isn't revolutionary, it isn't a device, it, uh, it isn't going to make your lives so much easier, it's just going to be something you put on your desk, 
to clutter it up. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been Kickstarter Crap, taking a look at Cube. Remember to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com, slash TV, and remember to tune in next time when I demolish a dirigible. Okay. Okay, so it's made out of aluminium. I ain't got a problem with that. What's, uh, what's, what's on the inside, though? You got some electrons and some protons up in there, right? It ain't bouncing around up all up in there. You got some protons and electrons.